Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Issue 1 heads to Black Spy Outpost on Batu, where a changeling spacer named Remix heads through the market, stopping a potential thief from stealing some food. Soon there is a rumbling noise as a First Order shuttle arrives. On the shuttle, the troopers talk about the resistance scum hiding somewhere in the planet, and the Red Fury will burn it down until they find them. Lieutenant Agnon expects nothing less from his men. Remix meanwhile finds that he is a wanted man on Batu, so he changes his face before meeting with his partners, Kendo and Wuru. The team head to their now running late meeting with Doc Ondar, the Thorian gangster who, once given a stack of credits by the team, is happy to deal with them. As the team look over the criminal's rare relics and antiquities, they see a baby Sarlacc, one of the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. Doc says that it wasn't easy to get, at least not for the smuggler who he hired to get it. In the past, the Millennium Falcon heads to the Evorka Prime Wildlife Preserve, bypassing the planetary defense Han Solo tells Chewbacca that Doc is paying them well, and how hard could it be to catch a baby Sarlacc? Landing, they meet with Dr. Genzor's supposed assistant, Oris, who is a big fan of Han Solo, Chewbacca, and the Millennium Falcon. As they walk towards the research site, Han wonders what happened to this world, learning that the Empire happened and a huge battle destroyed much of the ecosystem. Heading into the heavily secured base, Han wonders where the Doctor is, learning he is down with the now two infant and two adolescent Sarlaccs below. Suddenly, Oris pushes Han down into the pit, his men stunning Chewie so he can't stop it from happening. Oris says that he is indeed a fan of Han Solo, but he needs the Falcon and its codes to escape with enough frozen Sarlacc spores to make him rich. Han fires on him as one of his men falls, immediately set upon by a young Sarlacc, which thanks to being a baby, can still move very, very fast. The thugs continue to stun Chewie as another Sarlacc comes for Han, but luckily he uses a nearby stun baton to shock it. Calling for Chewie to stop messing around, the wiki frees himself from the thugs, throwing one to the Sarlacc and killing the other with his bowcaster. Two more Sarlaccs come for Han as he tells Chewie to get to the ship. Chewie retrieves the Falcon before Aurus can take off in it, and Han stops one of the Sarlaccs, throwing it from a cliff despite knowing that Doc Ondar won't be happy he couldn't smuggle all of them out. The last Sarlacc comes for Han, but the Falcon arrives, with Aurus swinging below it as bait. The Sarlacc latches onto him as Han boards. Heading back to Doc, they present him with the captured Sarlacc, but the criminal isn't too happy since they could only get one. Han says that there was only one on the planet and wants his payment as in the present, Doc finishes his story to Remix and his team. Kendo says that she wants something a little more exotic and while he looks over her data pad, Remix plants a spy camera in the room. Doc demands that they leave as what they want is impossible to get. The team leave knowing that Doc took their bait and watching through the camera they know that he will do whatever it takes to hide one of the most powerful weapons ever from anyone who comes looking for it. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Issue 1 was a fun base for Disney and Marvel to begin building up the lore for their brand new theme park attraction. I really didn't expect to it be a proper story. I do know that everything that happens in the park is in canon, but the lengths they're going to to just cement it and make it an actual physical real thing is actually really awesome. And I kind of expected this issue to be kind of just like a promo for the park, just showcasing all the things that happened in the park. I didn't expect it to be a fun adventure of Han Solo and Chewbacca, including neat expanded universe things like baby Sarlaccs and whatnot. I am intrigued to see what other stories they will tell within this world. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.